نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي واجعل لي وزيرا من اهلي اللهم فكهنا في الدين امين ثم امين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Today we shall be talking about pronouns. Pronouns are what? Pronouns are the words which are used instead of nouns. And pronouns like giving example, I say that I saw Ahmad. Now Ahmad is what? Ahmad is a proper noun. But now when I'm going to keep on talking about Ahmad, every time I'm not going to say Ahmad said, sat down and Ahmad said that and Ahmad was eating. No, what will I say? I'll say he. So the word he, which is used instead of Ahmad is what? It is a pronoun. I saw Maryam. Maryam was sitting. No, she was sitting. So she, which is used instead of Maryam is what? It is a pronoun. Similarly, I saw Ahmad and Maryam and they. So they is what? It is a pronoun. I is a pronoun. So there are pronouns in English and there are pronouns in all languages and there are pronouns in Arabic also. But the pronouns in Arabic are of two types. Those which are joined or which are attached with the word itself. And they make one continuous word like kitabika. The pronoun is attached to the kitab and the pronoun is not separate. For example, in English, we say he walks. He is a separate word and they're not joined in the sentence and walks is a separate word. So the words are separate. But in Arabic, there are a type of pronouns which get fixed up to the word itself, to the noun itself. And these types of pronouns are known as the joint pronouns or the zamaire mutasila. And then there is another category of pronouns in which the word the, of the pronoun, it stays away, it stays separate like it does in English. And these are the separated pronouns and they are known as zamaire munfathila. So today we will be talking about one of the type. The separate are the detached pronouns. Now the separate of the detached pronouns for the third person, the third person is what? Is the person who is not present in front of us, the person who is absent. So for the third person masculine, we use hova for the singular, homa when they are two, and hom when they are plural. I repeat, for the third person masculine, we use the word hova for he, when it is singular, huma, they, when they are two, and hum, they, when they are more than two, that is plural. And for the third person feminine, we use hia, she, when she is singular, huma, when they are two, and hunna, when the women are more than two, that is plural. Now, when it is the second person, the second person is the person who is standing in front of us. If we are directly talking to the person and it is somebody who is very near, who's close, and he is actually or she is actually present in front of us. So the second person masculine, we use what? For detached pronouns, we use anta. You, singular. Antuma, with the addition of an alif, it makes you two. Antum, you plural. Like when there is my sister standing in front of me, I will say anti. When there are two sisters standing in front of me, I will say antuma. 
And when there are my sisters and my cousins, more than two of them standing in front of me, I will say, Antum taf'alun. Okay? I'm sorry. When it is my brother standing in front of me, I will say, Anta. When two brothers, I will say, Antuma. And when more than two brothers, I will say, Antum. When it is feminine, I will say, Anti. I will say, Anti. You, my sister, you, my single sister, singular. And when they are two, I will say, Antuma, you two sisters, okay? Anta, you, singular, Antuma, you two, Antum, you, plural, more than two. Anti, you, singular, Antuma, you two. So when it is the first person, for singular, it is ana, I, ana, I. And when the first person is plural, we say nahnu, and that means we. So you will keep on repeating these words. Hua, huma, hum. Hia, huma, hunna. Anta, antuma, antum. Anti. Antuma, ana, nahnu. And here is a list of short words, again requesting that keep on repeating them, keep on revising them, and keep on trying to work at it, that you cram up all these words and the translation of the words starts coming to you automatically. Fi amanillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.